Alright, well I thought it only fair uh, to review some bad points about the Galaxy S3 because I have had a few people asking me and yeah, you know, you can't have a phone that's perfect in every single way. Initially I did the bad points of the One X um, because that's what st stood out at me first. Initially I did the, bad po the good points on the S3 because that's what stood out at me first on that. So there's only really three things that that are bothering me about it that um, it took me quite a long time to think of three things but I just you know I tried hard and sure enough came up with those three things and it is the things that bother me I suppose are the contacts the way that it handles the contacts like everyone you've ever emailed in Google it puts them all in your contacts and if you add Facebook and Twitter it puts everything together the One X kind of automatically combines them um, with one press and kind of keeps it a lot neater than Samsung and Samsung have always been like that to be honest because uh, I had the original Galaxy S, the Galaxy S2, Galaxy S3 and it's, it's not the end of the world but it can be a little bit frustrating sometimes especially if you've come from a different OS or a different smartphone and it just feels a bit cluttered and a bit messy so that's one thing. Second thing uh, sadly is the camera again, the video camera, no falling out of sync or anything like that but the sound is a little bit tinny and if you copy the video file to your computer, if your computer's a Mac, I can't vouch for PC because I haven't tried it, copy it across and then edit it or do anything with it or even upload it from your computer, from your Mac, the sound jumps and chops and peaks and goes really nasty and uh, that's a software issue that needs addressing pretty quickly um, and I do know somebody here on the YouTube that knows a bit more about it than me and I'll put a link below because uh, she's a bit of a technical expert, unlike me who's a bit of an idiot who just likes to think what's good about this and why should I have it? And the third thing is the keyboard, the standard keyboard. It's not the end of the world, it's not the worst keyboard in the world, but it's certainly not the best. And the standard keyboard on the One X, again, I keep making this comparison because obviously that's the sort of another big benchmark out there, is probably about the same to be honest. Um, you can replace them both. I have re I replaced one on the One X pretty quickly. Didn't, I haven't replaced one this year, I'm sure I will. I'll go through the motions of doing it. But generally speaking, People are asking me, what's the bad sides? What's the downsides of it? As a phone OS and just using it from day to day, it's really, really slick, really nice to use. But the bad points are the contact management takes a bit of getting used to. You can switch various things off and neat me up. I'll show you that. It's doable. You know, it's, it's, it is doable. Keyboard, you'll type a word correctly and it'll suggest a better word and auto jump to that word. So that's a little bit frustrating because sometimes you don't catch it. And when you record video footage, and if you direct upload it from the phone, it works, but if you transfer it to a Mac, then upload it, or edit it through Final Cut 10, or just try and play it in QuickTime, it peaks and chops and goes mad. I actually uploaded a video on my blog, vlog channel, whatever, without, without realising this, and uh, you can quite clearly hear it and see it. What I will do, oh, what I will do is I'll do some uh, video samples from this directly, because if you don't, uh, watch the vlog channel, which I don't blame you for, by the way. I'm not trying to plug it or anything, it's not good. But I'll do some video samples on this, on this channel, so you can see the different qualities. I do it, I did it with the One X, I did it with the S2, did it with the S, I think. So you can see what it's like as a video camera from the front camera, from the rear camera. And you'll notice it's it's noticeably tinnier. The sound isn't as clear. It's not even as clear as the as the S2. And the One X actually beats it in, in sound quality. Just you don't have that annoying have to go into edit and readjust the the fact that the, the sound's gone out of loop, out of sync. But to be honest, I'm, I am genuinely struggling. And again, it's not a case of fanboyism. I have a habit of liking things that are good, not liking things because they're a specific brand. If anybody makes anything and I think it's good, then I'll like it, you know? You can apply that same thing to like Henry Ford, was it? Or whoever made the first car. Just because it's the first person, because people are sort of like saying like, oh, S Voice is like Siri, or the design of this handset's the same as that handset, and Samsung copied from Apple. Apparently, Samsung make 25% of the components from within an iPhone. Again, I don't dislike the iPhone. I don't massively dislike the One X. I just don't think it's right for me. I don't think the iPhone's right for me anymore because it's a little bit boring and stuff. But if you like that sort of thing, great. And I couldn't make a better smartphone than any of those things with all the string and cardboard and microchips in the world. So, you know, it's great that we have all this choice and it's great that we can choose something that we like and that we prefer. But, when it comes to tearing this down, trying to find fault with it, I am struggling, which is a good thing. But, again, it, the, the, 
it doesn't have everything. You know, I don't think you're ever going to get something that ticks every single box. But it's as, as close as it's going to get for me for now, and I'm going to stick with this one for a while. I probably won't change it until maybe the Note 2. We'll see. I might, I might go for that. We'll just see. I mean, that is a monster of a phone. And I didn't actually go for the Note 1 because I just never got around to it. I wish I had it done, to be honest, because I, I love it. It's, I was with a client the other day and he had it in. It was a huge, fantastic phone. But yeah, uh, if you want to ask specifics, again, I've been going through my comments tonight, trying to comment on everything I could, because there's a lot of comments coming through and I'm struggling to keep up with it. So if I've missed you out, I'm really sorry. But if there's anything specific you want to ask, or, I mean, I've had questions about what's it like in direct sunlight. I tried to answer that on the sat nav in the car. It's fine in direct sunlight. The screen is much, much better, much clearer. If you turn it up to full brightness, it's immense. And I disconnected from the mains this morning. I don't know what time, it was quite early on. And the percentage, again, after a day's hammering, is down to 41%. You can see that in the middle there. So yeah, uh, massively, massively happy with the battery. But again, this is a negative video. This is about the bad points. So uh, point being is, in my opinion, which isn't right, isn't always right, it's right for me, there isn't much wrong with it apart from contact management audio distortion when you transfer the file and the stock keyboard isn't amazing so if you can live with those three things and you can change some of them anyway then again go for it if you can't and you you have to have the stock things and you couldn't live with those things and you just make videos and you want to transfer them to your computer and you have to use standard keyboards and the other thing i've forgotten the third thing already then uh, tough it's not the phone for you so uh, just a quick one really to be honest because Gladly, there isn't enough to complain about to make a long video, so uh, I thought I'd just do that for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you all later. Take care now.